guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Right, so I've got my nail all ready to go. Um, this is a fibre gel tip extension and on top of it I have used the Cameo fibre gel which I was going to show you. Oh, it's here. This is the fibre gel that I've used in Cameo. I love this. It's such a nice, nice, pretty pink natural base. Um, so it's just come out of the lamp. It's all ready to have some polish popped on it. So I'm going to be using Dove from the Prophecy Collection. Yeah, this white is so super pigmented. Most of the time you can get away with one coat. Sometimes you need a second. It depends what you're doing. I'm going to come in and pop my first coat down and then we'll decide if we need a second one. Do you know what the dogs have done? Chewed one of those plants. Because it's plastic. <laughs> yeah. I've literally gone out there and for God's sake. So there'll be Pooping, and, pooping plastic yeah. petals. <laughs> Try and make your mum's garden pretty for yeah. you. And you destroy it. It was tasty, mum. After I let you snuggle with me all night. Right, so for what we're doing, one coat of this is going to be perfect. If it was just going to be a plain white nail, I would go back in and do a second coat. However, that is perfect for what we need. So if you could pop that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. So I'm going to be using some of the ombre pigments for this. So I've got the magenta, the green and the lime. This is them. So let me get these out. <gasps> she hasn't even opened them yet. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think I've used this one. I've not used. I know I've used the magenta. Oh, I've not used the the green either. I'm loving green. So it's going to be... Careful removing this. Like the amount of times I take these seals off and then it goes everywhere. flying everywhere. Right, so I always like to use waste not, what not. Let's use what's on here. So I'm just going to come in and just roughly, I'm being quite dense with the colour. Ah, yellow is beautiful. So, boss man said, um, I want bright summer nails. I think, I think this fits the bill. Don't you? I am bright nails anyway. I'm not a muted yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, this one's pretty. I don't know if you Ooh, can see it's that. Got... It's got like a bit of a blue shimmer to it, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, honey. I love it. Honey, oh, you want <laughs> Whatever you want, I do for you. Is that Alyssa Johnson? I think that skits from, isn't it? It's I don't know, but I've seen Freaking hilarious. I was going to swear then. It's freaking hilarious. You want long nails? Why Honey, that's why you don't have no boyfriend. <laughs> Try to help you. <laughs> Something pretty like your leader. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get some pink on oh. here. See, this pink's gorgeous. It's got gold in it. Yeah. I really like these packs as well because you don't just get one applicator. You get two. You get two. So you're never going to run out. Oh, look at that. So as I'm blending that over, I'm just kind of merging the colours into each other. Obviously, if you add pink and yellow, you're going to get orange. So you get like a an extra freebie colour in this as well. Right, so I'm not rubbing, I'm patting it in, but then I'm kind of patting over the edge of the colours as well, just to blend them in with each other. And then I've kept my applicators out so I can keep, keep patting and just making them a little bit more prominent. That green is lovely. Green is gorgeous. Okay, right. When you're happy, put the lids back on. Please put the lids put back the on. Put the lids back on. You don't want to spill them. No, if you're anything like me, 
Lids are essential. I'm ter terrible for spilling things, aren't I, Sam? Put it in the wrong one. No, we haven't. Green. Right. Come on. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Right, they are away. They are safe for today. Right, so I'm just going to very, very loosely dust over this nail just to get rid of any excess because otherwise I'll end up in your top coat which we don't want however if you're anything like me I always have two top coats I have one that I keep away from any pigments and glitters and flakes and anything like that and then I do have a top coat which is this one which is my designated top coat for anything that is more than likely going to end up stuck on your brush Right, so seal all of that in. Make sure you're capping the end and your side walls, the whole lot. When you're happy that it's sealed, that can go into the lamp for a full cure. Okay, we are going to do some stamping. Right, it's been a long time since I've done any stamping. I go through phases, you know. I go through phases with products where I'll do a lot of stamping and then I won't touch it for, for months and then I'll come back to it. I'm like, oh, why did I why did I ever stop doing it? I can't this? remember that. The last time you did stamping on me was from a wedding with the gold Chinese dragons. And that dragons. was in my old, old salon. That, that was... was a long time ago. I have, um... I have done stamping since then. Yeah. But on um, me? Yes. yes. Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Hold that thought. Okay, right, so I can't actually find my scraper, so um, I'm going to cover up her details. But I'm using Sam's Gala Bingo card. Do you actually go to Gala Bingo? I haven't been for years. <laughs> I've never been. Apparently, it's really good fun. <laughs> Although, bingo. saying that, um, I don't like to go to bingo. Last time I actually went, because of my tick, it was very awkward when mm. I ticked very loudly in the bingo hall and they stopped the game because they thought someone had called. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God doing this ever again <laughs> uh right so pay attention lisa um this is one of my old stamping plates um i couldn't tell you where i got this from but the code is on there um if anybody would like to go and get this one um, i'm going to be using this one here i just leopard print it's a bit of me it's a bit of sam we've got the tropical leaves on there which is fitting the bill for summer designs so happy with that. I'm using the Tech Free Painting and Stamping Gel in black. Um, stamping gel really has changed everything. Because <laughs> you know how quick you have to work with stamping polish. And if you don't get it quick enough, it dries. And then you have to go again. And oh, it's a pain in the backside. Whereas with your stamping gel, you've got all the time in the world. All the time in the world. So you can really make sure that the gel's in there when it's perfect. But even then, me and stamping, I have a love-hate relationship with stamping. You know, sometimes it just goes swimmingly well. Other times you want to throw your stamper out the window. Uh, right, so I'm happy with how that's gone in there, but we'll soon, we'll soon tell. Don't judge me by my stamper. It's... Um, seem better there is going to be excess design um on your stamper i always like to take that off it just reduces the risk of you getting this gel on your clients fingers so i'm just carefully with my lint roller going to remove any of the excess design again apologies for the state of my stamper it has seen much better days but it does the job right so i'm going to line that up to where i want it it's quite faint actually so i think what i might have to do is oh actually that looked really faint but now i can see it through there mm -hmm. although i wish i'd got a little bit more of that leopard print on there <sighs> what should we do leave ours or go again um i misjudged that <laughs> it's up to you i really liked that leopard print unless i remove that leopard print and pop some crystals up there could do. Yeah. Could do leopard print on another nail. Yeah, let's do that. There's always going to be bumps, isn't there? Yeah, but the thing is, you're telling them that there's always going to be bumps, and you say, "Well, it's it's me working. There's always going to be bumps." <laughs> but 
but also you, you, when you're doing when you're filming and you say you know this i have a love hate relationship you're also saying to them well you know if it doesn't go quite right <laughs> nothing's can. ever perfect <laughs> nothing's ever perfect right so first and foremost i'm just going to come in and i have all oh, right so we've been nattering yeah, through it okay. nattering through it i'm just going to clean up the gel off Sam's finger first because that's the important bit and then what we're going to do we're going to remove this little bit of um, leopard print off the top kind of misjudged where I was popping it down but it's not a problem you could just wipe it all off and go again um, but we're going to pop some crystals on here instead. So just remove that little bit of leopard print. In fact, I could just draw the leopard print on, couldn't I? It's Good. not difficult. So we can imitate it. Well, in that case, then, where's my, where's my little cleany uppy brush? Let's get a little bit of acetone on this. Not too much. And I'm going to take a little bit of that out there. That out there. Right, let's give that a flash cure for me, please. So I'm just 10 seconds will do. And then if I use my let's use the ultra uh the the 10ml fine liner. Sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me. I've got some serious brain fog going on. My brain's not working. I mean it never does work, but um more specifically not working today. So I'm just gonna load up my 10ml liner. Just with a little bit of um, gel, and I'm going to come in. I'm just going to recreate what I wanted, what we didn't get off the stamping plate through human error. There's always human error when Lisa Graves is involved. <laughs> I love the way she says that, but. Never leave here without a splendid, magnificent, magnificent set of nails. Ah, but you always have ten crazy designs. Uh, you get so many compliments, don't you? Because I certainly do. Okay, happy with that. Right, let's do some. Uh, what is it? Leopard print. Leopard print. Leopard print yeah. Leopard print is so easy to do. We're just going to do a mixture of dots and swirls. Not swirls. Brain fog. Curly cuz. We'll call them curly cuz and backwards curly cuz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. To make sure that they go a bit thick, a little bit thin, a little bit squiggly. So imperfectly perfect. Like so. And Are we happy with that? what you wanted. We happy? Yeah. Mm. Okay, bang that in the lamp. Full key off on me, please, Sam. Okay, let's get some top coat on this. This is the, uh, the No Wipe Top Coat. I'm just going to pop that on, seal all of that in. So I'm undecided whether my love for stamping has returned or if they're going to stay in the drawer for a couple of weeks more. Yeah. I think maybe you need a new stamper. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. I think this is I about how it. Stamper is <laughs> Well, would you believe I can get my new nail stamper from nailcommy.co.uk? <laughs> how, how's that for a plug? Right. Pop that in the lamp for me, please, babe. Yeah, it's. It's, it's falling apart. Knackered. It's, it's um, knackered. Well, see, most of my clients have really long stabby nails. So then when mm. I do stamping, this happens. Um, and to be fair, I was playing around with it yesterday, doing all sorts of different techniques with it. And yeah, yeah it's, I think it needs to go in the bin. You go in there. <laughs> oh, it's not one of those fart putty things. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, yeah, I've broke. Yeah, I think it. I think um, I, I okay. don't think it was anything okay. you did wrong. In the bin, you stamp it. It's in the bin. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, 
Cue to Cloyle. I'm going to treat you to my favourite one. Banana! Banana! Oh, it's definitely the best one. 100% the best one. Give that a rub in. And there we go. We got there in the end. Look at look at the mess I'm in, honestly. <laughs> I quite like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today, you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.